Hey everyone, this is Elm Villain here. I hope everybody out there is safe and doing what they can to stay safe during these times. While I had some downtime, I figured I'd do some how-to videos, maybe help some people out there that uh, have never conformal coded or set up RPM filtering, stuff like that. Today I'm going to do the conformal coating. It's a real simple process. Nice, beautiful day out, so I figured it'd be a good day to do it and let it cure outside. That's tip number one. You want to do it outside, well-ventilated area. Uh, the product we're going to be using today it's MG Chemicals Modified Silicone Conformal Coating. Um, it does have some warnings on the back you need to pay attention to. And just the main one, do it in the outside in a ventilated area. What you want to do is take your drone and go ahead and have it taken apart to where you can get access to both sides of all the components. Now, the main tip here is you just want to avoid areas like the USB port, areas where like your three or your four one ESC plugs into your flight controller, uh, the plug on your receiver, stuff like that. Um, you want to go ahead and have all those plugs plugged in uh, just to make sure you don't cover any of those contacts in there and everything still comes right up after coating. All right, on to the next step. If you've been flying your drone already and it's got some dirt on it, I recommend you clean it first with some high proof isopropyl alcohol. Just take an old toothbrush, pour a little alcohol on there and just scrub it on the components. Make sure you get all the dirt clean so that we have a good layer to put the modified conformal coating down to. All right, now that we've plugged in everything, everything is protected except for a couple of things like where you plug in the USB cable for doing beta flight configuration or your bind plug here, maybe even your uh, buttons on your VTX for changing your channels or your bind button on your receiver. Just avoid painting those areas there. And then for this one, I like to go ahead and just plug in a USB cable. That way I know I'm not going to paint any of the contacts that make contact with that USB cable. Now you can just paint everything else, and like I said, just avoid your bond buttons. So you're just going to use a little, little paintbrush and just, just paint it on just like it's fingernail polish. Just make sure you cover all those exposed pads and any of your solder joints and any of the componentry that's on here. Again, like I said, pay attention to that bond button. You just don't want to coat it or it just may not bind. You may have to like pop the bond button all back off to make it work again. I just we don't have to do that just avoid it cut everywhere else and you can see that it makes a little bit of a blue tint to the boards that's the dye that they put in it so you can see it with the uv light but you can see it with the bare eye especially if you're outside um, just a general light coating and make sure you do both sides of the boards do your fpv camera your receiver fly controller vtx don't worry about the motors the motors will be fine and that's it just let it dry put it back together well, I hope this video was able to help some of you guys that have never done conformal coating before. And even after it is waterproofed, I do like to still rinse with isopropyl alcohol if I ever do fly in the rain or get it muddy or anything. It's just a good added peace of mind and everybody's got a little downtime right now with everything going on. So why not just go ahead and conformal coat your fleet and that's one less thing to worry about. Happy flying my friends and seriously, stay safe out there.